Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Let's take care of the remaining sins that Yoko left behind around here. Got two more to go. Let's see, for the next one, I'm going to want you to be a wizard to get a lot more damage out of him. So, let's see, with this one, okay, the Red Mage setup. Let's see, why don't we save over that one and then yeah use this one although i'm going to make some changes to it still but it's closer to what i want to do coming up here okay so with you yeah we'll just leave him with uh diabolism and ventriloquism those work really well together there let's see as a charioteer i think we can uh yeah get a little more on the offense here so let's get quad wheeled and I have the wolf back in action. Let's see, for Magnolia, mostly the same stuff as before. Well, exactly the same stuff as before. Make sure she's got Diabolism. She will be fine. For Tiz, same thing that we did with Idea there. Quad wield, I have the wolf. Don't worry about not having dual wield. The damage will get the job done. Okay, and then for the equipment, yeah, we want you to be on the Lambent Hat. Let's see, those two are good. Let's see, for Adia, I probably won't have her actually doing anything. But I'm going to equip her anyway in the event that something unexpected goes wrong. But I'm not, like, depending on her to get the job done. Yeah, we'll keep you on the Hermes sandals there for now. And then, okay, Magnolia, I think, is the same as before. And Tiz, let's make him the same as Adia with the Raikiris that we still have there. With all the Katanas. And let's see. Yeah, so Eye of the Wolf would be better than equipping Katana Lore here, even on Tiz and Adia there. But otherwise, yeah, I think we're good to go. Oh, well, we need to rest up, and then we'll be good to go. So, let's see. For the next one, we need to go back to the the Bowel Crater in Florum. Or, well, kind of outside of Florum, but it's considered part of Florum as far as Autopilot is concerned. So, yeah, let's head on over there, and let's see. This one should be to the north of the crater, or northeast. Yeah, northeast. There we go. Okay, we got that set up. Let's see which one lies inside this monolith. The, the monument. Oh, okay, monument. What, whatever you want to call it. Another sin beast. That's what we're here for. A lavash. Leviathan, the manifestation of envy. It is. Look sharp, everyone. Well, whatever works. For boss time! Now, Leviathan is a different breed of cat altogether because Leviathan, as you can see, is in the air for some reason. And it has a high altitude passive ability, which basically guarantees any physical attacks are not going to reach him there. So, let's see, as far as all that goes... Okay, so let's have you get Ventriloquism going, and just like almost every other Final Fantasy game, he's weak to Thunder. So let's use Thundaja, Rain, then a couple more of those that ought to be good enough. Let's see, with Idea, yeah, I think I'm just going to have her default. She's not going to be able to do a whole lot here. And then Magnolia, let's have her use the magnifying lens and then a few thundages and that should be good enough to get the job done there between the two of them now i think eventually leviathan would come down and then be vulnerable to physical attacks but i mean the magical ones but we're not going to let him live long enough for that to happen anyway so yeah don't worry about it Okay, yeah, that ought to be good enough. There you go. Now we can see the whole thing. 
But yeah, nothing too extraordinary there. I'm okay with giving some JP to Wizard, since I'm gonna want you to be a wizard long term anyway. And we don't lose too much towards Red Mage. Everyone's still in one piece? My favorite piece is still here. More or less. Something like that. Leviathan's power, the power of envy, is ours. Oh yeah, I'm sure we're plenty envious. All right, everyone, we're down to our last foe. Oh yeah. But all right, so we got envy there. Let's see what we uh, get out of that one. Let's see, we get the level. Uh, let's see, level six abilities from Leviathan there. So let's see, with those ones, yeah, envy. Yeah, nothing I especially care about there. No elemental damage or anything going on here. Hmm, I wonder if that would be useful. Probably not. I mean, it seems like it's a, like a physical attack or something. But yeah, it just costs way too much. But uh, okay, yeah, if I wanted to use that, I would just use like Falcon Hit or something. But, uh, or what was that? Not Fal Falcon Claw, that is. But, uh, okay, so we're done there. I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Got one more to go. Let's see. So this one is also a little tricky, but in a different way. I will be able to have Idea and Tiz participate in this one, but I still want you as a wizard. So we'll just leave him like that for now. For Adia, she'll be able to deal enough damage as a charioteer, so we can go with that. Now, let's see. With Magnolia, I want her to have white magic, if I can get over to it. Because, uh, let's see. I want to be able to cast Eroga for wind elemental damage. And, yeah, same thing for you there actually so yeah why don't you get back on the white magic okay that ought to be good there actually you know what it might be better to just go with uh time magic for you yeah why don't we do that instead okay so we'll get you on that and then let's see with tiz let's see i want him to go back to the previous setup that I was using. So let's do triple wield, attack item amp, and barrage. But I have something else for Adia to do. Okay, and then, yeah, I need awakening. There we go. Okay, now for the damage. Yeah, we don't, there's no like wind elemental rods. So yeah, there's nothing you can do. The only thing you could do is use gale stabs but then they have no magic attack to them so it's totally not worth it but i will go on the full magic attack setup there now with idea since the next sin beast is weak to wind i want to give her the air knife and then to boost that damage a little bit as long as we're on charioteer we have equal proficiency with all weapon types so i actually want to use the gale stabs here to uh, not only boost my wind elemental damage but also they've got decent physical attack power not too much less than you know most of the other stuff that we've got let me see like with axes there okay yeah that is actually quite a bit less but i do get eye of the wolf instead of axe lore so I think that probably evens out there. And yeah, let's get her on the power bracers. Even though speed is a bit of an issue, but I think she'll be fine as is. Okay, and then let's see, for Magnolia, for her, yeah, I definitely want the Hermes sandals. Same thing for Tiz, who I'm actually going to have using battle items. Now, the thing with using Gale Stabs, though, is that even though they do boost your wind elemental damage by 20%, the maximum you can go up to is 50%. So, 
yeah, just equip the three of them, and that's the best you're going to get. Maybe get a little more agility going for him, but otherwise, I think he's good. Okay, and then, yeah, I think everyone else should be... to do good there. Okay, so we got you... Yeah, got you like that. Okay, yeah, I think we're good to go. Rest up, and let's see, the next one I want to go to is by Eternia. Although, I think it's actually closer to uh, the Pilgrim's Grove. But, uh, yeah, why don't we take a look at that uh, bestiary entry for the last Sin Beast while we're at it. There you are. Oh, four-headed? I thought it was just, like, the top part was the head and the four, like, the tentacles were just... Yeah, they weren't, like, heads or anything. But I guess it kind of looked like it did. But yeah, Blizzaja. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not a good idea to use Reflect there. But uh, yeah, so high altitude. Whenever you use a physical attack, you'll see that proc every time. And there's nothing you can do about it. But something like that. Oh. Yeah, how Leviathan is flying, I don't know. I mean, I guess, you know, ocean magic or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. Wonder what ever happened to Behemoth anyway. Hmm. Looked kind of freaky in the Four Heroes of Light, at least. Holy cow! Well, actually, I don't think uh, Leviathan was a... A demon here. Uh, yeah, they were considered aquatic. So that's part of why I had some of the katanas going there. Or, I think I had katanas there. Yeah, yeah. If that ever became necessary, though it's not really relevant. But, uh, okay, so... Yeah, that works. But, yeah, he, uh, yeah, went to the underworld or something or other. But, uh, okay, so now let's head on over to Eternia. Let's see, I think the Pilgrim's Grove would be closest to the monolith there. Okay, so a little to the northeast. There it is. And this one will probably be one of the tougher ones. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, do you? Hmm? Oh, we're not going through the same lines copied and pasted over and over again? Look at the monument! What about it? Huh? Why are you guys all smiling? We all know the routine by now. Care to do the honors, Magnolia? <laughs> Last but not least... Lucifer, the manifestation of pride. Oh, well, yeah, that probably works. Look sharp, everyone. For boss time. Now, the problem with Lucifer is that he counters single targeting physical attacks for massive damage. And, well, there's only one of him, so there's not much we can do about that. He's considered aerial and weak to wind. But, unfortunately, we don't have Eroja, so we'll just have to do the best we can with everything else. But let's go with Meteor Rain and a couple more Meteors there. Let's see, with Idea, I don't want to use too many physical attacks with her because she would die. So, let's go with a Magnifying Glass. And why don't we boost our physical damage a little bit with Master at Arms, boosting all your weapon proficiencies to rank S there. So I get as much damage as possible per attack there. And then we'll go with two Death Spirals. She can survive a couple counterattacks, just not too much after that. Okay, and then with Magnolia, yeah, we'll just go with Eroga there. And then for Tiz, I want him... Let me actually see, hold on, what's our speed look like? Hmm, 
Might not be a bad idea to just have him use examine just in case Idea is a bit slow there. So how about we do that, and then we'll go with some battle items that Lucifer can't counterattack. So we'll go Tengu Sneeze, a couple Mimics, that ought to be enough. Or we could just go with Eroga Rain right off the bat. Yeah, look at that damage. Not quite max, but still pretty good. And we got in the red really helping out. Okay, Tiz. Okay, good, good. Whoa, she almost took him down by herself. <laughs> Getting there. Okay, so Adia. Yeah, just get that going. Get your arms proficiency. And then... Taken down by cats. Well, I mean, some religions, cats are the guardians of, what, the afterlife or the underworld or something or other. But we got him. Hooray! Well, if he lived through Death Spiral, he would have counterattacked once. We did it. We really did it! Wait, how many were left? Oh, yeah, we, uh, I guess this is our first time fighting them since I didn't really do anything in uh, Norende in the first game. That was uh, the last one. Huh? What's this? Hey. What is that? A note to my ever loyal minister of the right. Keep up the hard work. And thanks for all the croissants. Huh. Yoko. Yes. I shall redouble my efforts. So, that's it, right? Again with the croissants. Doesn't she care about anything but food? Could be worse. <laughs> Look who's talking. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> You're the gluttonous one. But, uh, oh, right, so we got the uh, level 7 abilities from Diabolism there. Let's see, Pride. Man, they seem to have a bunch of these, like, uh, yeah, dispelling abilities for some reason. Kind of strange, but, yeah, unfortunately, the only way to get Eroja is to defeat the Sin Beast that is weak to it. So... Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I saved it for last, because it didn't really matter. Though I will probably use Aroja at some point in time. But, uh, okay, so we got all that. And, well, now all we gotta do is take care of our business back at Caldisla there. With, uh, well, Anne getting ready to summon all those balls. Fortunately, she has been very patient waiting for us. To get the job done. Also, we got another uh, bestiary entry for Lucifer. Just like in the first game, huh? Yeah, he's got some really powerful physical attacks. I could barely survive maybe two of them. Ha ha. Well, that sounds like it would work pretty well on us. Oh, yeah, and you can hit all party members that way. Two-Faced, that's the the name of the counterattack there. But now we've got Eroja. And that'll be useful every now and then. Not so much for you, though. More so for Magnolia. I don't know. Maybe I should have had uh, Magnolia get a bit more into... Maybe do like summoners to kind of bridge the gap there between like black magic and when uh, we get diabolism here. But uh, yeah, that story seems consistent. Whoa, well, what do you mean? Oh, okay. Oh, huh. Well, I don't know. 
But in any case, what else do we got here? Well, you had one wing left. A one-winged angel, as it were. But, uh, okay, so we got all that taken care of. Let's get set up for uh, Norende Ravine. Okay, so now let's get over to, yeah, the Red Mage set up there. And then, let's see. Okay, so for random battles, I'm going to want to stick with Spirit Magic. That'll be more than enough to get the job done. Since I will be fighting a lot of consecutive battles, I don't feel the need to have JP up anymore. We'll hit the cap every time. And, okay, yeah, let's get Pierce Magic Defense going there. That'll get the job done there. Let's see, with Idea, though... Let's get her on to physical attack up. Hold on, let's see. Okay, so Red Mage, Spirit Magic, Charioteer with Catmancy. Let's see. Well, I know I don't want uh, Eye of the Wolf there for random battles. So, let's see. I want to get Axlore going again. For her, at least. Let's see. With Magnolia, I want her... To be a yokai, probably just for one battle, or one series of consecutive battles at least. Just so we can get access to Fyraja for her. And then I'll make her back into a red mage. Okay, so like this, let's just make her into Catmancy. Or, I mean, give her the Catmancy secondary command there. Let's see, other than that, we can pretty much do the same thing that I was doing with you there, except I want to give her Whisker Sense and Pierce Magic Defense. That'll be good enough for her. Just make sure everyone's got Awakening so they can keep building up on JP for their job classes. Okay, and then for Tiz, yeah, let's get him on the physical attack up quad wield, and I want him to use katana lore instead. Okay, and then for the equipment, yeah, we definitely want to have wonder rods ready to go. Best for magic attack at this point. Let's also use the lambent hat, since we're still going to run into some of those kobolds that are weak to lightning. But otherwise, that ought to be good for him. For Idea, yeah, let's just go with the Giant Axe and all those Cross Axes we bought. And I want her on the Power Bracers there. For Magnolia, let's give her a couple of those Wonder Rods. Okay, Circlet, definitely want to have the Luminous Robe there. And the Venture Bad. Okay, and then for Tiz, let's give him the old Raikiri. But otherwise, yeah, we'll just use the same katanas there. Since they're kobolds, we could deal a little more damage there with that katana. And yeah, just fill that out. And where else? Yeah, we need to get the power bracers. And that ought to be good. Okay, so yeah, let's take a break. And then we'll head back over to Kaldisla and see what's going on over there. Even though we are a bit limited by these subpar job classes, we'll be fine going through here. The Kobolds are not extraordinarily difficult. Okay, then let's get up here. And now we can go inside Norende Ravine. And it's just as short as it was before, though we do got a little party chat going on. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Well, if you include all of those extra worlds that we visit, yeah, we've been here quite a lot. Oh. Well, yeah, they were right. And then they all died. Oh, I thought that was uh, Alternus who did that. Or Ring a Bell, or whichever one it was. Yeah, I, 
I know. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to say I was kind of there, but now everyone else around here wasn't. <laughs> okay, uh, never mind then. Yeah, well, the only one here was Agnes. Oh, we were... Oh, on the way back. But we weren't chasing after the airship. We were running from it. How does that even work? Yeah, and then all of those extra times going through here. Whoa, what regret? Oh, you mean like for uh, setting all those crystals gone wild or whatever? Yeah, I still remember Anya's, the voice acting when she said the dark aurora, but like with like fear and horror in her voice. That was just so perfect. But, uh, well, hopefully this will be the last time. I mean, there's only one way to go. What, are we going to go to the Dark Aurora again? But, yeah, we should... Yeah, take care of business as well. Yeah, I was going to say, what happened to it? I mean, they had a whole bunch of good stuff there. To sell, anyway. Aww. Well, maybe we can bring Ring a Bell there, too, one day. But, uh, yeah, why don't we get out of here for a moment just to save after all that, and then we'll get on through. How's the encounter rate doing? Good. Okay, so Narendra Ravine is mostly the same as before. Some minor arrangements, but it's really short. Well, first strike. Not that that especially matters. But, uh, okay, so with three of these guys, let's see, I would probably want probably a Dia to deal with these guys. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's go with a good electrolysis. And then to save on ingredients, Let's go with a Rock Storm there. Two Rock Storms would not be enough to take out a Cobalt Slasher while Idea is a Charioteer. But I really want to learn Achilles Heel. That'll be enough. So, yeah, I'm not even bothering with Thief or Stealing Gladius from the Cobalt's. I would not worry about that at all. Okay, so with Magnolia then, let's pass over a couple BP to Adia, and then two Stardust ought to be enough to finish these guys off. I want to save Tiz for, like, smaller battles, if I can help it. Oh, I was like, wait a minute, is that going to be enough? Yeah, it's enough. So, like, if there's only two enemies, I'd probably have Tiz do the job but in this case yeah we don't have that okay so Tiz could kill these guys by himself and I think I will have him do it since none of them are cobalt slashers he should be able to one shot all of them yeah there you go although we're not getting any brave attacks so, maybe we won't hit max JP. But, uh, okay, so with these two, yeah, I'm going to need a couple hits from Idea to do that. How about we just go with four lightning spells that should be enough as a red mage. So, we are quite a bit weaker with these job classes. But, as you can see, we can still get the job done. It just takes a little longer than I'd like. Whoa, five of these guys. I'm prepared for five. Let's see. Okay, so since they are all... Uh, or they're not slashers there. Their physical defense is less than extraordinary. So let's just go with quadruple rock storm on these guys. I'm just thinking if I want to fight another battle. Yeah, why don't we do that? They're just kobolds. I mean, how much could they possibly hurt? 
And there's only two of them. Ow! Okay, they hurt a bit. Okay, well now, since I know I'm not going to fight another battle... Actually, hold on. How are we doing on White Wind? Okay, I'll need to buy some more Cat Feathers, but why don't we just use that? And then trample these guys into Oblivion. Kaiser Oblivion, as it were. Oh, I guess I really did need three tramples there. There you go, Diabolism. Yeah, max JP, even without a ton of uh, brave attacks there. That will be enough for her for now. So now we'll just make her into a red mage, and I don't think I even need to change anything in her setup there. Yeah, she's got Catmancy, Pierce Magic Defense. That's all we really need out of her. And I think we're good to go. Okay, so unlike the first game, we want to take this upper path here first. To get to a treasure. Yeah, I guess part of the ravine broke away there or something. After we went over it a few times. Whoops. You know, someone's got to maintain these things. By the way, if you want to grind out these job classes up to, well, legendary rank, it's called, at, after that point. Oh, did I get the treasure back there? Let me see. I thought there were... Yeah, I must have gotten that. Okay. But yeah, if you want to grind these all up, go to Geyser Grotto. That would be the best place to do. There are some other abilities that I would like to learn, like Echo. But as far as, like, getting up to level 11... Red Mage and Charioteer are the job classes I care about the most. And yeah, now we're starting to run into much larger groups of enemies around here. See, so yeah, I think I can still get into one more battle here, so why don't we do that real quick? Okay, took care of all that. I think we're good on experience. Let's see about restocking on some items as long as we're with the adventurer. Weren't you wearing a green outfit before here? I'm probably misremembering. But I do want to uh, get a bunch more in or Arctic Winds. Or, yeah, yeah, Arctic Winds. I need to buy more of these. Okay, and then, let's see, Pantheon's Wraths. Yeah, I'd like to have, like, 40 of each of them because I'm going to be using battle items quite a bit. And then, let's see... Yeah, the sneezes there. Okay, that ought to be good on those, as far as what I care about those elements. But, yeah, why don't we restock there? Oh, yeah, we've been using a lot of uh, White Wind. Probably my favorite healing ability to use during battle. If you're in... If you have the HP, that is. Restock on catnip, and I think that's good there. And then, let's rearrange the setup a bit. So yeah, you see, we're almost done with the level 11 abilities that I'm working on. Oh, actually, I'll probably finish that up here. I was expecting to maybe need to fight another battle or two. But we can do it this way, too. Okay, so... Let's see, I'm going to need a lot of damage coming up here. So, I need you back in his wizard form. And let's get time magic back on him. Okay, and then basically the same thing I was doing before there. Let's go with JP up. And ventriloquism, that's all he really needs. Wizard is very self-sufficient. One of the reasons why I love the job class. Okay, yeah, we want Catmancy there. Let's get our JP up again. Actually, do I even really need that? I might not need JP up. I forget exactly how much I get. But it'll be fine. With or without it. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll just get that there. Mostly using the same setups that I was using before. Against the... Sin Beasts. But yeah, we definitely want Diabolism now. It's way more powerful than Holy. 
Well, maybe not way more powerful. I was already hitting for max damage, but you know what I mean. Okay, then let's see. Yeah, let's get back on all the... Yeah, let's just get rid of all that stuff. <laughs> and uh, start from scratch, I guess. Okay, Eye of the Wolf, Magic... Er, no, I need uh, In the Red. And then Magic Up. Where are you? There you go. Okay, that ought to be good there. Then for Tiz... I think I'll leave him mostly the same there. But I want him to have Eye of the Wolf as well. Okay, that ought to be good there. And then for the equipment, let's see. Well, I'm just using Meteor with you, so we might as well just leave his rods alone there. Okay, yeah, that ought to be good. Now, with Ibia, I want her to have the Flare Hatchet because we're going to need Fire Elemental Damage. But otherwise, I think she's okay there. Better off with Eye of the Wolf than Axe Lore. I thought about maybe using Dual Wield, but we'll be fine. Now, with Magnolia, though, since I'm going to have her casting for Raja, yeah, I definitely want to have Rods of Fire on her. I love how much longevity those have throughout the game. Just so useful throughout the whole game. Instead of just always getting the next upgrade and then forgetting about everything that came before it forever. But otherwise, yeah, Hermes Sandals will be good for her. And then for Tiz, let's give him the Flame Tongue to make his attack Fire Elemental. But for him, I want him to have some Spears to exploit the Insect creature type. That ought to be good there. Did I ever learn Equip Spear? I don't think I did. I know I learned Pierce Default. Oh, you do have Spear Lore. Okay. Not that I would use it, though. Although it might not be a bad idea to use more Spears on Idea. Yeah, that probably is a good idea. Why don't we do that? That's what I bought all these extras for. But I still want the Flare Hatchet for Fire Elemental Damage. But otherwise, we're good there. What do you mean, where am I going, Anyas? There's nowhere else to go. We've been everywhere in the game. Or almost everywhere. But I would like to save before moving onward. See you on the other side. Well, why'd the, the music suddenly cut out here? Let me let this zoom out a little bit so we can see what's going on here. Well, well I guess they didn't rebuild Narende where it was before. But, alright. And at last. You. Huh? What are you? Oh, I'm a wizard. What are you? Predictable. Come to stop me, have you? That's the general idea, yes. What else would we be doing here? Anna, so you were the one behind the balls. Didn't we already know that? <laughs> Sorry, wrong answer. It's my master who creates them. I'm just in charge of transportation. Oh, okay. Well, we can put a stop to that. Your master? But the Kaiser is... Denny is gone. Yeah, you don't have a master anymore. <laughs> Did you hear that? He actually thought I meant his stupid brother. Well, who else is there? I speak of my true master. Lord Providence. Ruler of the Celestial Realm. What the? But I thought the Celestial Realm was all the, like, the good guys. Like, heaven and all that. That's what a robberist wanted. He who would deign 
time to descend upon your lowly rock and usher it into a new age of enlightenment. Uh, that doesn't sound... Dying doesn't sound very enlightening to me. After he kills you all, of course. Oh. That's what the bones were for. Or that. But then those stupid moon people had to get in the way, so Master sent me to prepare your world for his grand entrance. By blowing the moon out of the sky. Well, you failed. But it looks like I don't need to bother with that anymore. Yeah, making the first four chapters a complete waste of time. After all, I have a shortcut to the celestial realm right here, don't I? Well, what do you mean? I thought we couldn't get to the celestial realm. A shortcut to the celestial realm? Uh, the great chasm is... I thought that was a shortcut to the dark aurora. You're pretty sharp for a blockhead. Hmm. Yes. Now I can send fully primed balls to all corners of the realm with the greatest of ease. Well, robbers could just eat the whole planet at once. It'll only be a matter of time before Lord Providence himself arrives. Tee Nuts. Uh, 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 you have no idea what a pain this assignment has been. That's the idea. First, I had to find a way to deal with my little sister's ridiculous plans. What do you mean? Then, I had to find someone stupid enough to summon the Holy Pillar for me. Oh, so I guess uh, Providence needed Ouroboros out of the way or something. I guess Ouroboros had, like, no idea what was going on in the Celestial Realm at all. Hold it right there. That's my brother you're talking about. Who else? He did work hard, I'll give him that. Danced right along to my tune like the good little puppet he was. Well, not until we stopped him. To deny this miserable world and build a new one in its place. To rewrite the past and forge a new future. This is your duty. Well, that didn't work out too well, did it? No matter what the sacrifice, no matter how terrible the deeds you may do, we must change this world for the better. I would have to disagree with that. He ate it all up. <laughs> it was all I could do not to laugh. Why, he was even ready to kill his own precious little brother for his duty. Well, that would explain the mask. Never even once realizing he was doing it all for a little old me. Didn't he know that? <laughs> That's enough from you. Denny saw through your lies in the end. Exactly. He chose to save us, to save Luxendark, and he did so of his own free will. Denny died to save this world. I will not let you make a mockery of his sacrifice. Technically, I don't think we know that he died. He just went to the end of time. I mean, pretty much the same difference, but... Ooh, such admirable resolve. But I'm afraid you really don't have much choice in the matter. But I do! When Lord Providence descends, Luxendark as you know it will be completely and utterly destroyed. Before or after the balls do whatever you want? The precious world your idiot brother died to save will be wiped out in a wink. Uh, at last! It's the moment we've been waiting for, Master! What moment? In return for your brother's loyal service, allow me to give you a parting gift before your world is destroyed forever. And what are you gonna do then? A gift of... me! <laughs> Like you've never seen me before. But we defeated you the first time. For boss time! But uh, yeah, so she is a lot more powerful than she was before for some reason. And the boss music is a little different too. It is a different song, but it's 
the same light motif. But, uh, okay, so, let's see. Anna is considered an insect-type enemy and weak to fire. So, logically, I'm just going to drop meteors on her head. Then, let's see, with Idea... Let me see, how's our, uh... Fastest party members. Okay, Magnolia would be fine then. Yeah, we'll just have uh, Idea go with Death Spiral. Magnolia go with Magnifying Glass. And then Fred Raja. And then for Tiz, probably just four tramples is the best I can do. I'll hit max damage with that probably. And that ought to be good. But yeah, she's got a lot more HP than those Sin Beasts did. Yeah, look at that damage. Yeah, a lot more stats, too. So yeah, I just added uh, Magnolia to the examining, even though she deals the most damage, just because she was the fastest, and I wanted to make sure I examined her before we killed her. But yeah, pretty easy to hit max damage, even without, uh, wow. Ow. Did that debuff us? No, I guess not. Usually she doesn't even get a turn to do anything like that. There we go. How irritating. Ha ha. What, no endless healing this time around? I'm disappointed. But, uh, all right. Got Achilles heal there. That'll be very useful coming up. And we win a royal crown. One of the very few ways in the game to acquire one of those. Not that I'm going to use it, but I'll hold on to it at least. Well, I might use it. I'll think about it. it haven't you not that it matters anymore you seem to be rushing to your death rather quickly lord providence cometh any moment now well we can take him all you can do is wait wait for the end we can do it, do it that way, too, or either way, whatever works for you. Master, aren't you proud of... Ha uh ha. -huh. Providence, she said? Hmm? Oh, Altair. Altair, you're here. There's something I wanted to ask. Yeah, what's going on? And I think I know what it is. Yes. It is surely as you have suspected. This providence has control of Vega. That's... I must apologize to you, Magnolia. Diamante, the ball who destroyed your home. It too was doubtless birthed from Vega's memories. That's... Don't apologize, Altair. I know it isn't your fault. Or Vega's. You know, everyone's got their angry face on. Or everyone else. It's the false god Providence that's behind all this suffering. He's the one we need to punish. By murdering him? Altair, you've been a true friend. You helped us rescue Pope Agnes. He did? If someone you love is being held captive, we're going to return the favor. It's as simple as that. Oh. Yeah, that too. Yeah, we're going to crush a god! I mean, save Vega from Providence. <laughs> My children, there is so much good in you. I am proud to have shared. This journey ain't over yet, so let's get moving. <laughs> Indeed. What is it you always say at times like this? What do you mean? Come, you. Let us deliver our piece de radicchio. What? Uh. Right. Let's give it our all, everyone. Is that like French for coup de gravy or something? I don't yes. know. But how? Do we just wait here for this providence to appear? Might as well. 
No. We will invade the celestial realm ourselves. Well, how are we going to do that when Arabris couldn't? During my lifetime, I poured my heart and soul into finding a way to the celestial realm, but my research bore no fruit. Nuts. Imagine my surprise when I came here. What about this place? To find a closer connection to the celestial realm than anywhere else in this world. Oh, why is that? But see for yourselves. What's going on here? The Great Chasm. Well, it's not a chasm anymore. Stay strong, Idia. It's covered in some strange black mist. Oh, okay. I thought that was just like rocks and like molten lava under it or something. That mist is a sign of a dimensional fluctuation. Oh, still? A holy battleground and an angel's descent. A chasm of darkness and a glimmering ship. Oh, okay. All the bonds of fate tied to this place have gathered here, creating tremors in space and time. Should we use the compass or something? So what do we do? Oh, wait, Denny probably took it with him, I think. Whoops. We must clear the mists. For beyond them, if my theory is correct, lies the path we seek. Oh, okay, that sounds easy. So how do we do that? Get a really big fan? You, the pendant you carry. What about it? It has the power to connect the hearts of individuals even beyond worlds. Something like that, yeah. If we channel its powers and take advantage of these fluctuations, we may be able to lift the mists. Oh, okay. Everyone must come together in prayer. Okay. All right, everyone. Let's give it our all. So, how are we going to do this, though? We're not, like, you know, Vestals or anything. Dude? Oh, okay. Well, we don't exactly have training in this sort of thing. Keep trying. Focus and pray. I don't know how I can pray any harder. <laughs> well, maybe you can outpray Providence. We need more. Oh, what's going on? Oh, yeah! Your Holiness, your help is most appreciated. <laughs> the mists will not part. Do our prayers still lack in strength? Hmm. You can't even skip this part of the cutscene. Please, someone help us! What do you want me to do? What do we do then? Oh yeah, just like the first game. That's it. The mists are clearing. I can see the path to the celestial realm. Hey. hey. Are we okay? Do not let up, my children. I don't know exactly what's happening, but we're doing something. Finally, I've done it. No, we've done it. I'm coming for you, Vega. Hey. <sighs> so, where do we go now? We, we did it. What do we do? Take the stairs? Come on, everyone. The celestial realm awaits. Oh, okay. It's time to save Vega. And our world, from the clutches of the false god Providence. So, uh, you know anything about this, Anya, sir? Well, we'll take a look in a moment. But, alright.
Might as well get a little parting gift before moving on. What do you got, Anyas? Anything else about this? I thought the Great Chasm was Narende. Oh, okay. I guess we can do that. Y yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> y yeah, yeah, we got it. We'll be good. Yeah, thanks. The gravy, I know. But, uh, okay, so. No stairway denied. Now, now we got, uh, well, kind of similar to the first game. Let's check it out. Have I seen this background before? Hmm. This is the path to the celestial realm? What is all this? It doesn't look anything like I expected. It's like the strange images we saw when fighting the balls. Oh, yeah. It did kind of look like the same art style, I guess. Yes. That makes perfect sense. Vega's memories must be influencing the very landscape around us. Oh, okay. Like this memory. Of our first meeting. What do you mean? Ooh, let's hear it. Details? Out with them. Ha! <laughs> You truly wish to know. I typically keep the details of my private affairs private. <laughs> but we are all friends now, so lend me your ears. You got him. Spill. Party chat. We met at a ski resort. I boarded a chairlift only to find a charming young lady in the next seat. As we were climbing up the mountain, a great blizzard came sweeping through, and the lift stopped. Well, that would put a damper on the relationship. The girl beside me looked afraid, so I reached out to pluck a winter bloom from a nearby tree. Wow, look who's Mr. Smooth. Why would you have, like, a tree right next to a ski lift? How does that even work? Though some might say giving a flower to a girl you've just met might be a bit forward. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> forward or no, it was for naught. She went off that day without so much as telling me her name. And now this false god has stolen and twisted that memory! Uh, yeah, something like that. We have to free her. We'll release Vega from these evil bonds. You bet we will. Good you're bad, Tiz. But all right, we got all that going. Uh, why don't I get out of here for a little bit? I'm, I need to rearrange my setup eventually anyway. But what other memories will we find in the Celestial Realm? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second and Lair. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. And I'll let you listen to the final dungeon music for a little bit.